What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is gonna be a little different than most of my previous videos where I'm showing you guys rap stuff and I'm gonna continue making those videos. But today I thought I'd just show you guys my little laser and how I laser engrave my products um, for TL Wrap Tools. If you guys don't know, I also, along with wrapping, I own a wrap tools company. So we manufacture and sell wrap tools. Yeah, this is the laser that I bought. But yeah, I was outsourcing the laser engraving for a while. Getting a little pricey, bringing the racks 15 minutes away, coming back, back and forth. It was, it was just a little, a little expensive and inconvenient and it stopped the whole workflow. Whereas now I can have racks being laser engraved and I can be over here, you know, staining or painting another set of racks um packing usually this is meant usually this is tables being used for packing but because of the new 14 roll racks they don't fit in my painting and staining station over there so i have to do it here today until we upgrade this <laughs> so i decided to buy a laser and we bought the ortur um pro ortur master or laser master 2 pro is the one that we bought. I bought this together with my brother. He's the one that is like a technical smart dude. I'm an idiot when it comes to like computers and tech and stuff. So he helped me do the research on this, figure out which one would work. And we decided on this one. It was a budget friendly one to start. The main thing I'm using it for right now is laser engraving my logo onto my racks. Um, I don't have one right now. We used to do the logo like this. This was our old logo. I just rebranded. This logo is done with the CNC router. As you can tell, it's pretty deep. And we couldn't go sharp. Like originally these edges were all supposed to be sharp. We had to round them out, everything, and make the logo not how I want it to be. We've switched it up and we are doing the logo differently. So I'm gonna turn on the computer, turn on the laser, and show you guys what we got going here and how it works. So with the upgraded or the pro, you have these whole, this whole control box here um, to turn on laser, to do that. Actually, I didn't turn off last time, so it always resets itself. So I have to press it again and now it's on. Um, so we got the shut off button. This is like a smoke alarm, fire alarm thing, safety device. We got light burn. That's the program we're using to run racks. Okay, so that's the logo that we are doing on the racks now. This is our new logo mark. The actual logo, new logo is this right here. So we got these stickers there. This is just stickers that we send with orders. And then here we've got some small products. We've got whatever. We're not talking about that today. If you guys want to talk about that stuff, that'll be in different videos. But here we got the logo. We're going to go and we're going to frame this out um, with the late or with the um, light burn here. We can just press this button, which moves the laser. So we can just move it to position exactly where we want it. Until we're going to go back a little bit. We want we want to do our logo right here. This is where we do it. We do it in between kind of that hole and that hole. Okay, so now I want to, if I think that is exactly where I want it, which it looks like it is, then I want to set origin. So we're going to click that a few times just to make sure that it sets origin. And now we're going to frame this out. So by framing it out, it's showing me where the edge is going to be. Okay, so right now I have this at three inches. It is where I want it to be. And I've got tape lines here guiding the back. And then when I flip it around to do the other side, I run it on that tape line. And then I can keep the actual engraving in the same spot. I don't have to reset that every time. So we're going to go ahead and because I just want to double check my frame. That is good. Okay, so now that we have this all set up, we're ready to go with the laser engraving. Oh, also I should show you guys what I'm running for settings. So on speed, we're going 9,100 uh, millimeters per minute. That's what I found works best. If you go too much faster than that, 
with this laser in particular, just this is the only experience I have with lasers is this one. Um, it will shut off on big pieces. It will do part of it and then shut off. So slowing it down completely fixes that problem. Um, did some research on that because I was having some issues on a different set of racks. And we're running 100% power. Um, the minimum power is running at 100% too. This should actually be at 35. So this is intervals. This is how close each line, like each pass is to the last, or to the next pass. Um, we go 35, it gives a clean look, nice burn and one pass. So we also have a fan. If you're wondering what this is, this is an exhaust fan. We just move this uh, close to here when we're running the laser. And then we have flipped this guy, his little shield. We flipped it this way. Originally it was this way. We have flipped it this way so that it pulls all the fumes out. We have a big fan here. This is a four inch, but that thing's got some serious power. And then we've got it running on our ceiling out the window. <laughs> a little bit of a gimmicky setup, but it's what we're doing for right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy running and show you guys how it works. Okay, so all that we've got to do now is we've just got to go start. We're just gonna ignore this and we're just gonna press go and it's gonna start burning. So as you can tell, you can already see that one line right there. That's it starting to burn the logo. And we forgot to turn our fan on. It's got this nice little switch here. We're gonna turn on full board. And then you'll be able to see it's just sucking that air right out. So if you are trying to run this thing without a fan, I highly suggest you don't do it in a non-vented area. We have no vents prior to this. We had no vents in this garage. This is just my home garage. Um, so we definitely needed something because the first day we got this, we were running it without a fan. That was a nightmare, especially if you're running burning wood. It stank so bad. So I highly suggest before you even run this thing or run a laser, get yourself some sort of exhaust fan. So as you can see, we're doing pretty good here. Now this is stained. This is Baltic birch stained with a gel um, oil stain. Also, as I'm just taking this out, to show you guys the result. I do want to note that one of my favorite things about this laser is that you can slide stuff right through it. So it's perfect for doing the racks because racks are long and skinny. So here's our final result. I think it turns out awesome. Like the lines are really sharp. The edges are perfect, especially for a machine that costs what is it like 450 us plus we bought this add-on i highly suggest you buy this um this piece i'll link all this stuff in the description below i'm also going to do a painted rack i'll do one of these yet in this video I'm just waiting for some of them to try so we'll wait a few hours to finish this video but yeah um all together i'm loving this machine um, lots of guys you know complain about cheaper machines but if you're just doing it for stuff like this, um, it works perfect. You can do more detailed stuff. We've done some really detailed stuff. Actually, I'll throw up a picture here of a design that my brother did or a drawing that we laser engraved. It worked really well, as you can tell. Um, I think we did two passes on that. The only thing downfall with lasers like this is it takes more time because you got to go slower to be able to get the same results that you would on a machine that you could probably go faster with like a CO2 machine. But for what it is and for the price you're paying, it is a phenomenal option. So if anyone's looking to get one of these, I highly suggest you just pull the trigger and do it. I'm not sponsored by them, as cool as that would be. My channel's not big enough to do that sort of stuff probably. I highly suggest it. The one thing that I did notice 
that we do need to do yet is we need to figure out some sort of way to take care of this cord because it's rubbing on here and eventually it'll probably rub through and, and you know these are always moving back and forth so we need to make these stay still and just have this move maybe all right guys so i've now finished painting one of these sets of racks well actually a few of them here um so got one of them in the laser here ready to go we got our logo lined up here um so we're gonna go ahead and just get the even though it's not a permanent setup it it works um, and that's what matters right now. And then we are going to use the exact same settings that we used for the stained wood with the painted wood. Um, it has been working perfectly fine like that. So we're gonna go ahead and run with that. Fine. As you can see, we got the nice line there. Now this was only painted like a couple hours ago. It is dry, but it's not like, obviously it's not gonna be full cure yet. All right, so there you guys can see the cut on the painted. So this is primed once with two coats of paint. So it's a fairly thick, but it went, like it's not super deep, the cut. It's just barely past the, uh, the primer base coat and then into the paint or into the wood a little bit. So you can see it is a little grainy. I could probably go a little tighter on those lines or what I could do is back the laser off a little bit so it's not quite as focused. But I like having those focused sharp lines because then you get the sharp edging. And I'd rather have that than not have these. So this is fine to me. This looks great. Um, looks really good actually. And here you can't see it as much, but hey, it is what it is here. It's going through more layers than it is there. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely very happy with this machine. The, the structure too, like it, it's built pretty rigid. So you end up screw, having for your hardware, you screw it together here. And then there's um, also these L brackets that have set screws. So like it's, it's a solid unit. Also one thing to note, like I say, if this thing is a little bit slower, it's about a minute or 11 minutes and 30 seconds to engrave that. So obviously bigger pieces, more detailed pieces, it'll take longer. Um, some of my customers' logos that I've done, for instance, I did a customer's racks with one of these. This was one of the first ones I did um, with this laser. And this is about 40 minutes to do that. So definitely takes a while, so that's 12 inches. So it's not a super fast machine, but as long as you have the time and you're not trying to push out tons and tons of product. It, it's definitely a machine that can work and can make you some money. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just thought, you know, this isn't my typical style of video. Usually I don't make too many videos about the actual business stuff. Um, but I thought, why not show you guys the laser I bought and how I laser engraved the logos onto my racks. If you guys want any of my wrap tools, I'll link my website down below. I will also link everything to do with this thing, whatever else I mentioned in the video. I'll, I'll link everything down below. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and see you guys in the next one.